there be a situation wherein uh, it may be too late for you to be strict already when you were used to um, not being strict and then you feel like you have to be uh, strict on a kid? It's never too late, but I think that it'll just make your work harder it as a parent if you do harder. not um, start being early. consistent mm -hmm. early on. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's ever too late. Um, it, of course, it will be harder it, the later definitely. you you establish rules and mm -hmm. you establish that mom and dad are consistent about these rules. Mm -hmm. Then you really, like that. I think you set yourself up for failure because suddenly, why now? Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, right. you'll, you'll get your kid to question your authority. Why all of a sudden now? Mm -hmm. Why when I was younger? You know, since when? And, and you've got a smarter kid to deal with <laughs> now, someone who can't talk back. Yeah. But there's yeah. always hope. Yeah. I mean, you, you, yeah. and if all else fails, if at that point, middle school, and you're only starting your discipline tactics mm -hmm. now, then maybe you need a counselor. <laughs> yeah. But Family. again, you go but back yeah. to the basics and, and no, listening to the kid, if knowing you your child a, and talking to them, making If you're lucky and you have a child who is able to process, mm -hmm. yeah. figure things out, then... Yeah, these are you. things, again, you have to get them while they're young. Figure mm -hmm. out what their personalities are. I've had a, I have a friend who tells me, you know, she has to sit her child down and talk to the child and another child where she says, screaming is the best. Mm -hmm. I've, got, <laughs> I've got similar children. Mm -hmm. There's one... If I speak sharply to him, the whole talk just degenerates mm -hmm. into tears. So I know that that's never going to be a good way to talk to him. Okay. Should a mom and a dad have different roles in disciplining a kid? I think you, you, so. you, you, you have that situation where uh, you talk to your dad. Your dad's going to talk to you. Okay. So, your your take dad first. is going to your talk take to you first. about it. No, this is actually something we both agree on. I think parents should not un undermine each other. It always has to be a united front. Mm. That said, I believe in separate roles, there's got to be a bad cop and a good mm -hmm. cop. And I feel the bad cop should be the one that's home more. And I was talking to Nika about this last night. I'm home more, so I tend to be the disciplinarian. Right. And I can afford to be the bad cop sometimes because they get other parts of me. The whole day, it's not about discipline. I get to play with them. I get to, you know, go out with them. I get to pick them up from school. Their father comes home a little later, and I would like that the last memory they take to their dad, I mean, they take off their dad before they go to bed, will be a positive one because he's home for so right. short. Mm -hmm. I mean, not always, but there are times, I mean, I'm the one home and he's the one away. But in so, terms of... Um, Consistency and discipline, yeah. and then if there are certain house rules that have already been established, I think it's important that mother and father are both um, uh, united in right, their stance. Right, right, right. So if dad already said, you can't watch video games anymore, my son can't go to me and say, mom, and yeah. I'll say, oh, okay, mm -hmm. cute mm -hmm. face, go. <laughs> no, and it our can't husbands, be like that. But and yeah, our that husbands happens. will never say, go ask <laughs> That happens. Yeah. yeah. But of course, mothers and fathers are two different people, ha play yeah. two different roles. But they have but to But when it comes to discipline, yeah. I think mothers and fathers have to be united. They have to have they an have agreement talk, on how to... But not argue discipline. in front of the child, because yeah, the not child argue, will be not like argue. Right, right, confused. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what you do with yeah. your... with like That's what we do with the fathers yeah. of our kids. We, mm -hmm. I mean, it's implicit I mean, yeah. among us. Okay, the, the kid changes when, it, when they reach the, the, the awkward age, the teens. How do you deal with teenagers? Uh, the disciplining Ooh. would be different yeah. from how it was when they were kids. And now, they, as you said, they become smarter, they, become, they, they have yeah. more confidence in themselves, and they think they can yeah. uh, live yeah. their yeah. life well, on their is, own. That is a whole new, different territory. We have to reschedule this interview in 10 years. <laughs> but, but based <laughs> on the we, we research that we've so. done, yeah. um, I guess what you can do is really just know your child. And I can't speak. Uh, from experience because my children aren't in the teen years yet but mm -hmm, now that they're mm -hmm. still young at least I'm trying to establish uh, a close relationship with them um, so hopefully in the teen years they will be open to me because when I did some research teenagers that's really a rocky road that you have to go through but if yeah. you have a teenager who is able to talk to you yeah. then you're 
it won't, it shouldn't be as rocky. Once you've established that, it always goes back to that scenario. Even if that, that, that kid grows up to be a teen and maybe, you know, have his or her own problems, it's always going to go back to, I got used to talking to my parents, so I, I, I know that I can still talk to them at any time, also, any point in my you life. you have to, I mean, at that stage, it's not just par about parents anymore, it's about school. And then, the at the same time, they're so. flexing their independent muscles. So, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to also give them space. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't want to talk to you. But you have to be ready to listen mm -hmm. and pay um, attention. Yeah, um, there's like some things they won't say, but you can you drive can. them to a party with the friends, even if you're not talking to them. Listen to their conversations, mm -hmm. yeah. so you're hip to what's happening. You're mm -hmm. hip friends to the with friends. feelings between yeah. this person and that. So you're not like the lost. Hapless, yeah. walang alam na nanay. Uh, Boyet boy raised that uh, issue a while ago, uh, saying that you don't necessarily have to be a friend. You don't be a friend to your kids. Yeah, I was listening to that and I was saying, yes, you get into that relationship where you really have, you have a daughter. You have to she's establish more, authority. She's more of mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. girlfriend now that she can talk yeah, on the same level, same level, but you never lose your parental role. Mm -hmm. Your parental role changes but it doesn't go away. Even when your child is in college, mm -hmm. um, you're, a, you're still a life coach. You're still a mentor. Mm -hmm. You're not maybe someone that, um, you know, you don't talk to them as children any anymore, but that role never leaves. Okay, very interesting discussion. Thank so you very much, ladies, for joining us. Barney, Nika, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Thanks,